mapping and sequencing genomes this main topic it is divided into two parts pehle hisse mein hum dekhenge ki genome mapping kya hoti hai and in second portion uh, we will discuss that uh, what is uh, genome sequencing all the sequencing uh, we have discussed uh, uh, previously but uh, those are some basic techniques and here we will elaborate it in a few uh for the topics uh, but first we are going to start with the uh, mapping of the genomes so the first topic is genome mapping genome mapping is the process by which a specific gene uh, it is being designated or assigned to a particular region of the chromosome and then after assigning particular uh, location then we can also point out that what are the relative distances between a different genes that are located in the genome or on a chromosome genome mapping ek aisi technique hai jisse na sirf hum genes ki location ko pinpoint kar sakte hain chromosomes ke upar balki unke darmiyan jo relative distances hain ya distances in terms of nucleotide base pairs wo bhi हम डिटरमन कर सकते हैं जीनोम मैपिंग की जो है वो दो मेजर टाइप्स हैं लाइक द लिंकेज मैपिंग और द फिजिकल मैपिंग जो लिंकेज मैपिंग है इसमें हम डेमोन्स्ट्रेट करते हैं कि जीन्स का जो ऑर्डर है वो क्या है और उनके दरमियान जो रेलिटिव डिस्टेंसेज हैं वो कितने हैं एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड इन केस ऑफ फिजिकल मैपिंग वी कैन एग्जैक्टली पिन पॉइंट द लोकेशन ऑफ द जीन दैट दिस इज द पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट वेयर द जीन इज लोकेटेड एंड द डिस्टेंस अमंग डिफरेंट जीन्स कैन ऑल्सो बी कैलकुलेटेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ नंबर ऑफ न्यूक्लियोटाइट बेसिस सो इन केस ऑफ लिंकेज मैप इट जस्ट ओनली गिव द रेलेटिव पोजिशन ऑफ द जीन्स एंड रेलेटिव डिस्टेंस अमंग दैम बट इन केस ऑफ uh physical mapping here we can uh, exactly pinpoint the location of the gene and calculate the distance among them uh, in terms of nucleotide uh, base pairs we can say that genome mapping allow us to navigate around the genome if we compare such mapping of genome with earth then we can understand it in a better way jaise hum अर्थ का के मैप्स का एनालिसिस करें तो हमें हमारे नॉलेज में आएगा कि द मैप्स दे मे हैव कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डिफरेंट क्राइटेरिया के कभी लेंथ यूज की गई है वेथ लॉन्गिट्यूड और लेटिट्यूड्स सो मैप हैव बीन कंस्ट्रक्टेड एंड डिफरेंट लैंडमार्क्स कैन बी असाइंड ऑन ऑन द अर्थ एंड दोज लैंड दे कैन हेल्प टू फाइंड डिफरेंट लोकेशन ऑन द अर्थ फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर हम अपने कंट्री की पाकिस्तान की मिसाल दें तो इसके जो सदर्न पार्ट्स हैं उसमें ओशन है देन फर्दर टूवर्ड्स द नॉर्थ मे बी डेजर्ट इज देयर लाइक द थर्ड डेजर्ट एंड देन सेंट्रल पाकिस्तान हैविंग मोर और लेस प्लेन एरिया एंड देन वी कैन मूव ऑन टू पोटोहार हैविंग सेमी एडेड क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन एंड देन नॉर्दर्न एरिया इट इज करेक्टराइज बाई हैविंग लश ग्रीन फॉरेस्ट एंड वैलीज सो दीज आर the different landmarks in the country and on the basis of these landmarks we can uh, exactly pinpoint the locations uh, of certain territories so in this way we can move anywhere within the country and same at the global level so different maps have been uh, constructed and different landmarks on the earth they can help us to navigate around so similarly such landmarks they are also existed on the genome now one can ask a question what type of uh, landmarks on the genome so here landmark may be any part of the dna misal ke taur par agar hame किसी डीएनए सीक्वेंस का जो है लोकेशन का पता है उसके सीक्वेंस का पता है सो सच डीएनए सीक्वेंसेस 
they can act as a landmark or genetic markers some regulatory sites that can turn the expression of some genes in or off they can also be the landmarks even genes themselves in addition to that non coding region they can also act as landmarks uh, on the genome so if the location of a particular landmark or the genetic marker on the genome is known then the position of other genes in relation to that known location uh, it can be characterized hame pata hai ki jo earth ka map hai wo is tarah ka hoga is criteria pe base karega agar hum isko compare kare genome maps ke sath to genome map jo hota hai uh, ye more or less uh, one dimensional hota hai like the string of the dna linear structure of the dna इसको हम अगर हम एक रोड की फॉर्म में शो करें मैप के ऊपर जैसे एक हाईवे मूव करती है तो रास्ते में आफ्टर इरेगुलर इंटरवल्स डिफरेंट सिटीज या टाउन आते हैं तो इन द सेम वे द जिनोम हैविंग द मैप दैट इज वन डायमेंशनल सो डिफरेंट जीन्स दे आर लोकेटेड एट इरेगुलर इंटरवल्स एंड दे मे बी गिवन डिफरेंट नेमिंग नो वी कैन ऑल्सो Uh, point out that uh, uh, what is the difference between uh, genome map or genome sequence uh, we can say that uh, these two activities although are portraits belongs to the uh, genome but uh, they may be separated for example if we have constructed the genome map it will not tell us about the sequencing it will not be going to give any information about the uh, sequence or the nucleotide bases on the dna and similarly uh, genome sequence it will not give any information uh, more or less about the genome mapping so both these two activities uh, they may be separated from each other but uh, even then there are some close relationship like uh, two neighbors they are living together and sometime uh, what happens that uh, unknown sequence of the dna segment it can act as a landmark on the genome so uh, uh, one can say that ke jo uh, genome sequence hota hai ye ek detailed uh, genome map hota hai so in this way they may be very closely related to each other another additional point is that uh, if we know the sequence of the genome then what is the need of mapping misal ke taur par aajkal bahut sare organisms ka jo genome hai uski jo sequence hai wo complete ho chuka hai including uh, our human genome 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 of some model plants like arabidopsis uh, some prokaryotic microbes most famous is famous one it is the e coli so genome sequence is known whole length sequence is available then what is the need of genome mapping because we have the uh, sequencing already in place so under such uh, situations Uh, one can say that genome uh, sequencing it helps or the genome map it helps to sequence the genome ki agar hame genome mapping ka pata hai to different landmarks jo hain iski sequencing mein help karenge in addition to that if sequence is available then it will just be a featureless featureless means that we don't know where a particular gene is located where the dispersion is coding or junk region of the chromosome or genome so for this purpose we have to designate certain locations with reference to the position of certain genes so because of this reason uh, although sequencing is available but we need to mark some areas on the uh, chromosome so finally we can say that genome map it pinpoints the certain features on the organism genome and it is very very valuable tool to study certain genetic diseases morphological traits and 
comparing of different genomes and of course it is also going to help in the genome sequencing. 